Metacarpal bones. In human anatomy, the metacarpal bones or metacarpus, form the intermediate part of the skeletal hand located between the phalanges of the fingers and the carpal bones of the wrist which forms the connection to the forearm. The metacarpal bones are analogous to the metatarsal bones in the foot. Structure. The metacarpals form a transverse arch to which the rigid row of distal carpal bones are fixed. The peripheral metacarpals, those of the thumb and little finger, form the sides of the cup of the palmar gutter and as they are brought together they deepen this concavity. The index metacarpal is the most firmly fixed, while the thumb metacarpal articulates with the trapezium and acts independently from the others. The middle metacarpals are tightly united to the carpus by intrinsic interlocking bone elements at their bases. The ring metacarpal is somewhat more mobile while the fifth metacarpal is semi-independent. Each metacarpal bone consists of a body or shaft, and two extremities, the head at the distal or digital end, near the fingers, and the base at the proximal or carpal end, close to the wrist. Dot. Body The body, shaft, is prismoid in form, and curved, so as to be convex in the longitudinal direction behind, concave in front. It presents three surfaces, medial, lateral, and dorsal. Base The base, basis, or carpal extremity is of a cuboidal form, and broader behind than in front, it articulates with the carpal bones and with the adjoining metacarpal bones, its dorsal and volar surfaces are rough, for the attachment of ligaments. Head The head, caput, or digital extremity presents an oblong surface markedly convex from before backward, less so transversely, and flattened from side to side, it articulates with the proximal phalanx. It is broader, and extends farther upward, on the volar than on the dorsal aspect, and is longer in the anteroposterior than in the transverse diameter. On either side of the head is a tubercle for the attachment of the collateral ligament of the metacarpophalangeal joint. The dorsal surface, broad and flat, supports the tendons of the extensor muscles. The volar surface is grooved in the middle line for the passage of the flexor tendons, and marked on either side by an articular eminence continuous with the terminal articular surface. Neck The neck, or subcapital segment, is the transition zone between the body and the head. Articulations Besides the metacarpophalangeal joints, the metacarpal bones articulate by carpometacarpal joints as follows. Insertions Extensor carpi radialis longus slash brevis both insert on the base of metacarpal II, assist with wrist extension and radial flexion of the wrist. Extensor carpi ulnaris, inserts on the base of metacarpal V, extends and fixes wrist when digits are being flexed, assists with ulnar flexion of wrist. Abductor pollis as longus, inserts on the trapezium and base of metacarpal I, abducts thumb in frontal plane, extends thumb at carpometacarpal joint. Opponents pollicis, inserts on metacarpal I, flexes metacarpal I to oppose the thumb to the fingertips. Opponents digiti minimi, inserts on the medial surface of metacarpal V, flexes metacarpal V at carpometacarpal joint when little finger is moved into opposition with tip of thumb, deepens palm of hand. Dot. Clinical significance. Congenital disorders. The fourth and fifth metacarpal bones are commonly blunted or shortened, in pseudohypoparathyroidism and pseudo-pseudohypoparathyroidism. A blunted fourth metacarpal, with normal fifth metacarpal, can signify Turner syndrome. Blunted metacarpals, particularly the fourth metacarpal, are a symptom of navoid basal cell carcinoma syndrome. Fracture The neck of a metacarpal is a common location for a boxer's fracture. Other animals in four-legged animals, the metacarpals form part of the forefeet, and are frequently reduced in number, appropriate to the number of toes. In digitigrade and ungulagrade animals, the metacarpals are greatly extended and strengthened, forming an additional segment to the limb, a feature that typically enhances the animal's speed. In both birds and bats, the metacarpals form part of the wing. History Etymology the Greek physician Galen used to refer to the metacarpus as mu epsilon tau alpha kappa rho pi iota omicron nu. The Latin form metacarpium more truly resembles its ancient Greek predecessor mu epsilon tau alpha kappa rho pi iota omicron nu than metacarpus. Meta is Greek for beyond and carpal from ancient Greek kappa alpha rho pi sigma, carpus, wrist. In anatomic Latin, adjectives like metacarpius, metacarpicus, metacarpius, metacarpius, Metacarpianus and metacarpalus can be found.
The form metacarpius is more true to the later Greek form mu epsilon tau alpha kappa rho pi iota omicron sigma. Metacarpalus, as in also metacarpalia in the current official Latin nomenclature, terminologia anatomica is a compound consisting of Latin and Greek parts. The usage of such hybrids in anatomic Latin is disapproved by some. Additional images